Hello, and welcome back to Hollow Knight. Last time I died repeatedly in the third. This is going to open after I finish all three. Third Pantheon. Time to start it again. And as I said last time, every run after this one in this episode will skip the preamble and go straight to the more interesting part where I keep dying, which is Nail Sage Sly. I just don't want to do this fight. Like, each of these fights along the way is pretty easy, as long as you play correctly. Oops, wrong. My joystick was not going left for some reason for there. I pressed the button too late. Lovely. Come on, just give me the chance to beat you up. Apparently, when you're doing this, after each pantheon, the God Seeker outside the dream changes what they say. And so it could be worth leaving after every pantheon if you're curious, but after us, at this point I just don't want to leave God home until it's done. And I already missed the, what they would have said after one pantheon, which they might still say everything. In which case, I could just do it once I've beaten all the Pantheons. But yeah. I think this is my least favorite fight because it's just kind of... boring. Like, it's relatively speaking, you could call it hard but it's really more boring than a difficult fight. Because you're the whims of the big guy and where it chooses to move, what attacks it chooses to do. But, I mean, that was the smoothest fight against that guy so far. Come on. Don't start with this, please. It just drags the fight out longer. Okay, I can get attack in. No, I, I might have gotten hit. Come on. Terrible luck. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not even looking at where the knight is standing. I was just looking on where the attacks were originating, so that's why I got hit by an easy to dodge attack. Come on, please. This is the worst attack he does because it just takes so long and you can only deal damage like that. Okay, he can spawn spikes through himself. That was a greedy heal and I got lucky. Come on. I guess if you stand under him and use the upward spell, it would be pretty good. You could deal damage there. That was greedy, I should have double jumped. This is full heal. Or 
you know, greedy deal. For extra damage. I don't need to worry about taking damage here because this is where I go to the rest point. I still don't know why there's a bench here. It might just be for aesthetic or so you can save and quit and come back, maybe. That was bad. I haven't been hit by him yet in all my attempts and I got hit twice because I'm greeting just to deal damage as fast as possible. I need to not take too much damage here, but I think I'm fine because I think the next one is Umu. No, it's Sly then Umu. Nope. Uh, I forgot his name. Zout then Umu. Okay, come on. This is good RNG though. This is like the best opportunity to deal damage to him. Come on, that shouldn't happen. The fact that if you pogo him when he's down, he hops up and instantly... Wrong direction. That was bad. I could have done better. Greed. Greed. I could maybe kill him. I need to go for the damage. That was greedy. No, no, no. Okay, good. I don't want to have to fight through this just for Zote again. Now it's Umu. Which is a boring fight. And you just have to constantly be moving. Actually, that's the summon sound for these guys, which means... Okay. Two cycles. Greedy. That's not gonna work. That was actually perfect. I'm gonna get hit. Yep. That's really bad. Because I don't think there's another fight, so I'm gonna be starting the si- Oh! This Hornet! Thank God. Oh. I forgot about Hornet, because it's a fairly forgettable fight, because it's- That was greedy almost, but I didn't go for it, so I'm safe. Without Hornet here, I would have had to have fought Fly with, like, three masks, I think? Three masks down. And I already can't fight Fly with full masks, so... I'm also greeting for the faster kill instead of healing now, because I have time to heal before the next fight. I'm not too worried about healing first it, during the fight. I might need to heal them I die, but I'll be at full masks. I'll have no soul to spare, but I don't know if there's even a chance to heal when fighting Sly, so this is an acceptable mm -hmm. point to start. I'm doing this every time just in case it Okay. Give me a free hit. Give me a free hit. Give me a free hit. Okay, good. Finn. Ugh, greedy. Okay, that's dash. Bad positioning. That's where you need to be careful. Maybe you can heal there? I don't know why I jumped there. Oh, yep, it's this attack that I don't know how to really dodge very effectively other than jump over, obviously, but... Come on, please. Go ease on me, Sly. Dash. Low HP? Or just a heal? Just a heal. Oh, 
I think this would be a great boss fight if it wasn't at the... Okay, he bounced a lot higher than I thought he could. If it wasn't at the end of a Pantheon, I think this would be a very fun fight that I would not hate. But it being at the very end of the Pantheon is a little rough. Okay, and that's not even the entire fight. I hate this fight now. I hate this fight now. I hate this fight now. It's terrible. That last phase is terrible. Like, not a fun last phase. God Seeker mode. Challenge the gods of Hollow Nest. Take your place at their peak. Is that just you can start the game and just do these right away? Okay, who- do I get to see who's on the list? No, I don't. That's gonna be rough. What's this up here, though? I assume- yeah, I'm at three, and the fourth one's the one right here, and then that's the final one. Seek the pure god. Please, be fun ones. Please, no- please, no bad ones. Please? You'll be nice to me, right? There's a lot of annoying warrior dreams that still haven't been repeated. O oh, gods of Hallow Nest, graciously the op graciously the open the way to this greatest of pantheons. Thy voices grow closer, and thy resonance draws us ever higher. Pray will we, attune will we, until the spark of divine light shines from the deepest darkness. Deepest darkness, the abyss, and the void. I'm in the middle of drinking water. Oh, that was bad. I didn't actually think I was going to dash through it when I dashed. I'm glad these enemies have reduced HP. Oh god. Lost skin. I mean, Lost Kim's not, like, the worst fight. I hate the summons, though. If this fight didn't have the summons that are obnoxious beyond belief, it wouldn't be an awful... It wouldn't be a hard fight. Which, obviously... If it didn't have the thing that makes it a hard fight, it wouldn't be a hard fight, then yeah, obviously, but... It's an annoying fight, just because of those summons. What's this gonna be? No eyes. Oh no, I hate this fight. At least it's not as dark as the, the actual version, the original fight. So I can actually see the map. It's not a fun fight though. It's just annoying. Just let me heal. This is kind of the epitome of why this is not a fun fight. If you just avoid if you just want to avoid damage, it's kind of crazy easy but that just means that if you take it carefully it's trivial but it just takes a long time because it's annoying because they teleport okay what's this gonna be oh mantis traitor lord A reduced HP Trader Lord is actually going to be pretty nice, I think. 
That was bad. Oh, it doesn't even do two damage? Now it does. One of its damage instances wasn't two. That was easy. I mean, Trader Lord, normal Trader Lord already has pretty low HP. Oh no, not White Defender. I just fought him. I don't want to fight him again. I hate that attack. That attack. Oh, it pulls you in. That's why it looks so weird. Okay. Yeah, it pushes you inwards, it seems. RNG? Apparently, if you have, like, Dash Master and stuff, you can take advantage of the rolling ball form, and you can do a lot of... You can just keep him in that forever. Agreed. Oh, that was unlucky. Unlucky isn't really the right word. The word I'm really thinking is not lucky. Because unlucky is bad luck, in my, I think. Whereas not getting good luck isn't bad luck. So far, the first phase of this is not too bad. Actually, did Salubra show up here? They do. Nice. But what map updated? Like, is there some hidden map of the god home? Oh no, what's this gonna be? Oh, it's just the this failed champion, which is rough, but... But like, less HP failed champion is gonna just be failed champion, but easier. This is easier, somehow. Maybe I'm just... into the, in the mode. Because this is so much easier. Like, that was disgustingly easier than the actual fight was. That was so much easier. Oh no, it's gonna be, yep, Shield Boy. Who's like, just kind of annoying, I think. Hard, but like, annoying. Okay, take advantage of this. Then get out. Ah, hate him. Okay, perfect chance to do some damage. Damage, damage, perfect. Hate that fight. Doing that on no hit, never gonna happen. So I need to play this safely because it's not the slightly easier version. Okay, I don't- I don't have good opportunities to heal, I need to stop taking chip damage. And this is forcing me to learn how to do this fight. Kind of. So like when I, I try to do it eventually and like 
Steel Soul mode or five hour speedrun run, it will be a lot easier. That was bad. I should dash the other direction. But again, you can kind of just heal. I didn't dash quite quickly enough. I hate the Soul Tyrant. I didn't push down enough. I didn't double jump in time. Oh, again, greed. That was bad. Greed. Like, that's a heal I should not have gone for. Just play it safe. So that's going to be phase change soon? Nope. I'm going to have to do that another couple times. Healing in the middle here is actually always seemingly safe during that phase. I actually saw that one coming. There's definitely a tell for when it's a fake out, I think. Or at least I think there seems to be a tell that's just very subtle and like picking up on it but not paying enough attention to really notice what it is. I mean, this is a fake out. I need to be prepared to dodge. And now I need to be prepared to attack it. There, safe. Good times. Kind of a... A boss that needs to be there, but... Oh, yeah, now it's pure vessel. Show reverence, oh, yes, yes. O meager one. Show fear. Thou approachest a great and terrible god. Though its worldly body be bound and defiled, the glory of its pure form endures, ruler of this pantheon. Its endless power shall attune us to one greater still, a god of gods. Meager one, Dost thou imagine thyself the equal of this god? Dost thou imagine thyself made in its image? Thou assume a similar shape, and the deep echo within thee seems familiar. Ah, what thoughts are these? Thou so blasphemies in our mind. Wretch, be gone. We pray that the god of nothingness silence thee forever. Please, I need to do this in one try, because I don't want to run that again. But... The run up to here is less obnoxious than this. Stay away. Let's hope it's the same as the normal one, but harder. Ooh, that's new. I think. I don't think that appears in any version of the fight with the vessel. Okay. Now that's new, again. I'm gonna lose. Oh, that was lucky. Bad play. I need to figure out when I have time to heal. I misplayed that. I should have just dashed into it. Fun. Okay. Uh, I'll make... Mm, I think I might skip to the end this time as well. Ah, I'll do at least one more full run. 
And then after this second, this next attempt, I'll start skipping to the final fight. Mostly because it's really just the same fights over and over. That was greedy again. I did that a lot in the original fight. Where I would just get lasered because I didn't move quickly enough. Ah, uh, he didn't use that attack at all. Last attempt. That was a misplay. I was focusing too much on the... air blobs for some reason. This seems like a worse version... than even the... other than the less HP. This... The blobs seem to spawn faster in this version than the actual dream version of this fight. I'm gonna lose to this guy. Because I can't heal. That should... You know what? It, just because of this fight, it might be worth showing more of the runs, because some of these fights are non-trivial, at least. They're not crazy difficult, but they are non-trivial. This one is trivial. You can take damage easily, but like... You only take damage if you're too lazy to actually take the time, and I'm lazy, so I take damage. Like, and it teleports after every hit? Very fun. Rude. Hey, it didn't teleport every single hit at the end of it. I think... Because I'm thinking about it as I do these fights. I think for the sake of showing how long it takes, it's probably my best interest to... Or it's probably better to include... That was the wrong direction. I didn't turn my controller. I didn't the other direction fast enough. But for the sake of seeing how long it takes to clear, I think it's probably best to not skip move it at all. And I can just think of something fun to talk about while I do the same boss fights over and over again. I could talk about... Who knows what? I should have dodged that. I just wanted to try and rest. Oh no, not that version. Okay, I'm safe. Darn, swimming. What could I talk about that would be fun? That throw sometimes swings low enough that you get hit by, I think, his arm. Um, I, mean, I don't have anything Hollow Knight related that would be fun to talk about if I have to run this another million times. I'm not a not even approaching an expert on Hollow Knight. But...
That was a little greedy. Actually, don't go in there. Six, seven, eight. That's gonna be a swing. That's gonna be a swing. I guess the way to beat this is just go hyper aggressive. Stay on it, and then it's- oops, that was a mess up. But, you stay on it, so that if it moves away from you, you always know that it's a, uh, a smash attack. So if you just keep going back and forth under it, you're, you're good. And if it jumps backwards from you, then you know it's going to do go for a smash attack. Oh, this guy. Damage. He's near the floor. Damage. Damage. Damage opportunity. Okay, I wasn't paying enough attention there. I'm gonna die to Markov. I didn't. Good. I might have been better off not tanking that much damage, though, depending on the next fight. Okay, I'm fine. I need to dash back when he does that. That was kind of bad. Don't stand on a corpse. I didn't play that correctly. Didn't play that correctly either. Didn't play that. I'm fine for a moment though. Didn't dash backwards in time. And at this point I'm base tanking. Didn't dash fast enough. Didn't dash fast enough. Gotta play it safe. Use this opportunity to heal to full. Greedy heal. Didn't dash fast enough. Greedy heal. That was weird. Okay, full health. Because I think the next fight is the one that I don't have a chance to heal. I can heal before it, but. I think the next fight is the one where I want to be full math. Never mind. It's Soul Tyrant. Soul Tyrant's free healing, basically. I don't know why I did that. Oh, Soul Tyrant. Oh, that was just bad. I'm just distracted because it's a boring fight. What am I doing? I was distracted by the fact that Soul Tyrant is like... So... Low? Like, as long as you don't get hit... Like, with extreme frequency, it's like... Very easy to heal. And it has some of the most obnoxious, like, offense opportunities. Where you only have a very small window to deal damage to him. Really is not the best fight. I just need to figure out the pure vessel. 
That was bad, but it's fine. I get why they add new fights at the end of the Pantheons, but... Oh, that's only the first time he drops. Oh. But... The thing with the Pure Vessel, if it, if this fight, I mean it might be that the Pure Vessel fight is actually the same as the like, I thought I had Shade Dash. If it's, it might be the same as the normal fight against that guy, but there's no real good opportunity to practice it without running through a bunch of fights that are kind of easy. Relatively speaking, like... That was bad, I should have gotten hit there. Like, most of these fights are justifiably fairly easy, but... Like... They're not hard fights, and if they were harder, it would be awful. But like... It's still like a 5 to 10 to 15 minute prologue before you can fight the actually hard enemy, <laughs> which is kind of a pain. I mean, it's the nature of a boss rush, it's fine, but doesn't mean I enjoy it that much, which is also all the more reason. I'm just going to clear this and... Maybe a couple episodes of trying the other stuff, but... The fact that it's still just the same fight every attempt... Okay, I didn't mean to jump that high. I mean, I did, obviously, but... Shoot. Greed. I shouldn't... I'm gonna die right here. Like, the whole preamble to that fight... Trivial, and then you die, and then you have to wait another 10 minutes of preamble to fight it again. It makes it more annoying than fun to play. Given the time, I'm gonna skip to that fight for one or two more attempts, and then I'll wrap up the episode. But. Because the run-through takes 10 minutes, and then I die in 30 seconds, so. I'll just be back when I'm in the room just before the fight, I guess. Welcome back. So, most of it was the same. Um, I almost died to Traitor Lord, but I didn't. And I embraced Full Tyrant Fight when he does his sideways move with the six things rotating. Just accepting getting hit one or two times on the first pass to get like four or five hits in saves a lot of time. Which is all the more reason that I'm probably never going to try the no, the like the getting one shot version. I'll probably never try it because fights like that would just take longer. I need to play properly. That was bad. That was terrible. Terrible. Why'd I double jump? That was just really, really bad. What I'm gonna do... I could go another couple minutes and just skip to there again, but... I'm gonna stop this episode now. Take a break. Because I have been doing all these in a row let the, I don't know, what little understanding I have of the fight percolate into my brain and then come back to it and see how it goes. So. That's where I'm going to stop this episode. So, have a nice day. Bye-bye.